Please contact the testing center. Smoking related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Authorization, Major... Data. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here.
boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high-temperature furnaces. Crispy critters, that's the wrong door. Okay, I found the opening. <clears throat> Ugh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Are you sure? How do I get into the pipe? Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. All set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
a relief. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's in- Access granted. some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticus cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Just trying to help? You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah, eh, go on, I'll catch up to you. I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to bait me. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity, I want- The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Respect, dammit! I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. Get Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Uh, hi, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals if you... Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind.
heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. Ah, it should be fine if they keep spraying it. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. How many of you are there? Sons of bitches. Just wait for a medic, okay? What? <laughs> medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Uh, what? 
What makes you think the whole place is gone tits up? If this happened in Vavilov alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> It. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Granted. you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it.
Canisters are used with polymer dispensers, comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. We've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end, but it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. It kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be how the vaccinations fall. Dead people being so chatty, I mean. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He talked for days on end. Or comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. It was hell. All expired now. I'm still holding on, you see. Don't you wonder why? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. But it's fascinating. Tell people about it if you make it out alive, okay? At least that way, the science will get something useful out of all this carnage. Oh, yeah. Anything for science, right? Well, not anything. If you're suggesting that I'm getting a little carried away, but if you get a chance... Okay. So long.
comrades. We need to do something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot they said was on the fritz, so we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. You guys are smart, right? Come up with something. Thirty-five? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. 